Your Excellencies, in four days, the Philippines will be marking the 117th anniversary of the proclamation of our independence. Our heroes and martyrs led a people who aspired to be the masters of their own destinies and to establish a country that would be a responsible member of the family of nations. Today, it is in the spirit of freedom and equality that I welcome you as the honored representatives of your peoples. Each of our countries has its fair share of challenges. However, some of these challenges, such as the threat of pandemics, risks brought about by global climate change, instability, and terrorism, demand that we work hand in hand if we are, a, if we are to effectively serve and protect our respective peoples. Today, more than ever, it is indeed incumbent upon all of us to synchronize our efforts and work harder to build more inclusive, more resilient communities and nations. It is by doing so that we pass on to those who will follow us a better, more harmonious, more progressive world, one in which no one is left behind. On this path, I assure you that you can count on the efforts of my government and my countrymen. Your Excellencies, as you commence your respective tours of duty during what we call the visit Philippines here, I encourage you to come and see for yourselves just how fun life, culture, and business are all is in all corners of my country. The vibrancy inherent to the Filipino people has been strengthened further by the optimism we have regained these past few years, together with our solidarity and commitment to positive transformation. It is our hope that the experiences you've had so far and indeed the entirety of your interaction with our people will inspire you to partner with us in a deeper, more productive manner. Again, welcome. We wish you success in your respective tours of duty. Thank you. Good day.